display with too many signs. So don't put too many signs over your display. This is not good for, for customers. Ticketing techniques, what information, identity of product and variety, price per unit, special features, if we have like uh, grapes, seedless grapes, we put seedless, etc. Country of origin and other information. Anything we think mm -hmm. it's important where the customer, what the customer look for. They like, like seedless grapes because people are looking for seedless. Okay. Yes. Anything what is specific, what is what can upgrade the products a little bit, yeah. we have to make sure sure to tell the customer. It's no use that yes, I'm buying only secret space. I'm only secret space in my store. We don't tell the customer; it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So we need to make sure whatever positive we have, we need to communicate with the customer. It has to be very clear, clearly uh, shown that they can see it. Uh, ticketing techniques. Do check accuracy of information, check consistency of pricing on multiple display. If you have one display here for Apple and one here, so should have the same uh, prices. Change and, refresh and yes. signs. And yes. Something for all. What could be the reason why I have Apple here and Apple there and have two different prices? I'm not talking about origin or whatever. Definitely yes, but you wouldn't normally you wouldn't put them in a different area. Why do I I have the same? Let me rephrase it. The same apple, different prices. Different prices. What is the only reason why? Because sometimes you see it. You have it in the middle of the store. You have you have one price, and then you have in the in the section you have another price. I've seen it a few times. So we have different countries of products. Same. I'm talking American red apple now. Talking about this. Same. This, I think it's 100 gram. Different prospects. When I see what we talked earlier, when I see in a few days the apple is not good anymore, mm -hmm. and I need to get rid of it, I can't make that much apple juice because I, my juice sales is very low. So then I put somewhere more gold, the best is very close to the to the counter where to the weighing weighing area or to the cashier very when if it's packed to the cashier and when I do a special promotion. Yeah, then I have to make sure I have a different location than, than my because then the people see it's special. If I just put a sign on the on the on the on near the cashier, I have a special promotion for American red apple, for Washington apple. Today is X price. Very few people will go back. But when it's there in front of them and they have the product and see it, it looks very nice, but they have a special price today. People will go for it. Yeah. So don't use too many different types of signs and have, don't have spelling mistake on the tickets. Uh, this is some samples of the ticketing you see here. It's, it's very nice. See here what they do. This is from different part of the world. Different type of ticketing. The gentleman is John Baker. You see here. Those are the things. Promotions. Why promote? Increase sales volume. Enhance your store image. The word your best customers. Attract the new customers, generate excitement, increase profits. This is the why we promote. And promotions need to match your image. The goal number eight, appeal to all senses with promotion. What we mean by appeal to all senses with promotion? Those are our senses here, like the eye, the hand, the nose, the ear. So, appeal to all senses with promotion. How to do promotion through the, the ear, hearing? 
how? Announcing on a microphone all the time. Please visit Apple Display or whatever for the promotion. This is the promotion on the. Uh, what about the uh, the the hand, the touching, the touching? It's, it's like touch the throat. We allow them to touch. This is the. Uh, and what about the uh, the tasting? Sampling, sampling of the product. Uh, uh, what about the smelling? How to promote through smelling? How? For example, if we have like a very nice display of, let's say, uh, mango or melon or uh, not melon or uh, like uh, papaya. So we cut one fruit and put it there, it gives a very nice smell. So when the customer passes through this display, it attracts him through the smell. Okay? This is the how to promote through smelling. So appeal to all senses with promotions. Uh, also, uh, weighing station is very important part in the uh, through a fresh produce section, you, you can use it for any like uh, uh, promotion signs or whatever messages you want to put. So you can use the way station because everybody, <coughs> all customers use this station. Which one is the best? Can you go back? Yeah. Which one do you think is, is, is better? This or this? Doesn't make, doesn't make any difference for the sale. Mm -hmm. This is to make, for me, this is to make the store look nicer, I have nice colorful picture, and this is to to make it a little bit easier for the customer to find this, this here, but you can see it also. <coughs> for me, what is missing here, what we talked earlier, there should be promotion for my special apple, and the apple should be here. Because once the guys are there, if you have your promotion somewhere far away, they will not go back because many times you have to queue before you come here and so on, so they will not go back. So whatever promotion has to be on the left and on the right. If you cannot reach it, that, that the colleague who is behind them can reach it if somebody is behind and say, can say, give me that. So special promotion need to be in this kind of areas or next to the cashier or whatever, yeah. or in the park corner. And this is here a sample about the cross merchandising. They selling. Recipe, recipe books close to the floor display. Okay. Uh, we have some like issues in those photos. What's the problem here? What's the problem in this photo here? What's the problem? It's a, there is a main problem in this photo, and we will give another point for the right answer. This one, this one here. Don't, don't say too many people because those are like you. The two that training. is storage for We talked about location kids. of compressor. Sorry? It's too close to the door. And, and the door is it's on the back side of the door. Okay, exactly. So the fan is here. And the door is here, you see, it's like this is a mistake. So now when they push the air here, it goes from the door. This is a wrong... Uh, what's the problem in this one? This one? The door is open. It's on the back side of the door. It's not just the fan. You mean? The fan the is... should be just opposite to the door. No, no, the, this one, this one. I'm talking about this. Uh, this is different photo. The plastic. The plastic. The plastic. The plastic. Exactly. The plastic. You should. You should not put the plastic like that, because the plastic. We put it on the uh, on the cool room to keep the temperature inside the room is the same, right? Or to to like lessening the fluctuation of temperature inside the cool room. So that's why. Problem when you come this early. Yeah. So. So we all do it. 
this we know is it's, we know it's wrong, but we, we, <coughs> all, we all put uh, the air curtain on top, on top of the door. Then it's easier to come in when, you, especially when we have to end up few times. Yes. Yeah, so this but is. Do not do it. Temperature plus if you are near the outside door, then you have with flies and things you have an issue. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, this is a problem too, and we have a problem here. What's the issue in this photo? This one. <laughs> the boxes are close to wood, so this is not no circulation. Correct. So we should keep like uh, space between the wall and the uh, boxes. Uh, here we have some issues. Let's see here, what's the problem in this uh, photo? Uh, light. Light, no lights, number one, exactly. Plus, the display here, like it said, is the black it's color. black, good for marketing. Dark. No, 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 no. Color. The color, yeah, it's not like the nice color. At least if you have a black background, stick some nice colorful picture on it or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> they should put some pictures or whatever they use. Use it for marketing. The same issue here also. There is nothing here, which is not good. And on this display, what's the problem? Price down. The? Price, price. Price down. I oh, know the price is here, but what is the problem with they this? They mix the apple. They're doing storing here, not in the cold room, number one. It's not properly. It's not not okay to store here because it should be in the cool room. Plus, this stand is very high, so housewives, they cannot reach this uh, this. Uh, so now if you see in uh, whatever, in Carrefour and in uh, they, they don't use any more this high stands, they use like the low one. <coughs> All right, here we have also some issues. Actually, I, I don't know exactly what's the problem with this, but I think too many, too, like too much items on the uh, closing. Yes, it's not an organized one. And here, they can use here the space, the white space here for pricing. It's a very good place. And the um, uh, the melon, I think they putting too much melon on the. On, this is too much pressure on the uh, first first line. So uh, also we need to see. You see here some <coughs> nice nice uh, display for banana. Okay. This one is very nice also in the station. Mm -hmm. So let's see a video also about the topics. bruised, damaged, or overripe before sale. So what is the best way to handle produce to reduce shrink? First and most importantly, only display what you can sell in one day. Again, practicing first in, first out by moving older produce to the front of the display, removing any poor quality pieces, and adding new product to the back. Never pour product onto a display. Instead, always place produce by hand to prevent bruising. It is very important to inspect displays regularly, to cull, rotate, and restock product, especially with highly perishable items, as well as during or after your busiest hours. Often this means inspecting three or more times per day, but it is worth it to reduce shrinkage and maintain an attractive display for your customers. Employees need to be empowered and authorized to take care of shrinkage in order to maintain quality displays in your store. Your employees should be trained to remove bruised and blemished produce and may be instructed to set them aside for a supervisor to check before they are discarded if necessary. 
To make the most of your produce displays, make them colorful using contrasting colors of produce varieties to create separation and draw attention. Plot <coughs> your displays to highlight specific produce and add to the attractiveness of whole cases. And make sure to promptly replace lights that burn out. Knowing how to create displays that attract attention and help sell your product is important. A general table display can be made more interesting by using color separation from side to side. Waterfall displays often use top to bottom color breaks or provide loose produce on top with bundled produce toward the bottom. End cap displays are often higher traffic areas and a great place for sale items, so providing eye-catching signs or ticketing is helpful. You always want to make sure your signs and ticketing are easy to read specifying what the product is, its country of origin, the price per unit, and any special features you want to promote. In your ticketing, always use uniform style, color, and size to make the shopping experience easier for your customers. Use different signage to highlight promotions so they will attract attention. Always check spelling and accuracy of information on your signage, and try to avoid making your displays too crowded with too many signs or different types of signs. Keep it simple. Don't overwhelm your shoppers. Check and refresh your signs regularly to increase interest and make sure the signs are in good condition. And of course, if a product is displayed in multiple locations around your store, make sure that the pricing is consistent throughout. Keep in mind that having one large display may be easier to maintain the quality and consistency than having multiple smaller displays around your store. When talking about handling the display, it's helpful to know a bit about what's best for different fruits and vegetables. Apples, for example, should be kept cool, even stored and displayed in refrigeration if possible. Apples should be handled carefully, hand stacked always, and displayed on top of pull trays or other soft material to cushion the fruit on the bottom and avoid bruising. Use contrasting apple colors to separate varieties and keep apples away from high ethylene producing fruit and vegetables as much as possible. For pears, always check ripeness on arrival and handle gently at all stages to avoid bruising. When displaying for sale, place ripe fruit at the front of the display and place newer unripe fruit at the back. It is wise to cross merchandise pears with cheeses, nuts, or salad dressings as well. For cherries, keep cool and dry, and display in their original cartons or in pre-packs, always practicing first in, first out. <laughs> Train staff at checkout to always place cherries on top of grocery bags and boxes to protect them from becoming damaged. Because cherries are a high-value impulse item, display them next to high-traffic items to increase sales. For citrus fruit, Offer choices. Bring in variety like oranges, grapefruit, lemons, and limes, and consider offering choices in sizes and packs. Utilize their vibrant colors to create contrast between displayed varieties and attract customers. Displaying cut fruit can also create interest and confidence. For potatoes, they should never be frozen or refrigerated. Rather, potatoes need to be stored in cool, dry, dark, and well-ventilated areas, with care taken for proper air circulation and low light. Light turns potatoes green, and proximity to high ethylene producing produce will cause them to sprout, so care must be taken in storing them properly. For onions, they should also be stored in a cool and dry place. When displaying, remove loose skins and use variety for color breaks and to create interest. For bananas, they should be displayed upright on padded shelves and cut into bundles of three to six fruit. Locate in high traffic areas to increase sales. For table grapes, keep them cool and dry and use green grapes to separate red from blue-black varieties. Be sure to specify seedless on ticketing when applicable. For tropical fruit, multiple varieties such as pineapples, papayas, and mangoes can be displayed together as they are easily promoted together along with juices and fruit salad. For mangoes, store at room temperature to promote ripening and display about two-thirds ripe fruit at the front of the display and one-third unripe at the back. For papaya, be sure to handle them with care. 
even consider cutting and covering a papaya to show the inside to customers. Vegetables like tomatoes, carrots, cabbage, and leafy greens can also be displayed near each other as they are complementary vegetables. For tomatoes, store and display at room temperature and handle carefully to avoid bruising and other damage. For carrots, keep cool and moist, avoiding display near apples, pears, and high ethylene products as they absorb odors and may take on a bitter flavor. For displaying cabbage, remove any paper or wrapper and old or yellow leaves. Trim the stem to freshen and display stem end down. For leafy greens, remove any old leaves. Secure the bundle with a twist tie and then trim the stem. No matter what produce you are displaying, always remember first in, first out. The first products received should be the first products on the floor, placed in the prime <coughs> selling point, and then be the first products bought by customers and taken out the door. This will help ensure that your produce is purchased at its ripest and help minimize shrinkage and increase profit. To review the important tips that you've learned in this chapter, let's briefly revisit the highlights. Display only what you can sell in one day. Remove bruised and blemished produce. Make displays colorful and attractive. Make your ticketing easy to read and uniform in style. No matter what produce you are displaying, always practice first in, first out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we do a five minutes break. Since I pass home, you go home.